are coming at you from Italy. Just kidding, this is actually in New York and that is what this video is about. Incredible places in New York that you will not believe exist. When most people think of New York, they think of skyscrapers, they think of the concrete jungle, but there's so much more than that here. And today I'm gonna to feature a few places that are as incredible as this that are in New York. Some are in New York City and some are a short commute outside of New York City, but stay tuned for all of these locations because they will literally blow your mind that they are in the city. I could not believe it when I was doing the research for this video. We will be covering places like castles on islands, ship graveyards, and this spot right here. Now I wish I could feature all of the most incredible places in New York in this video, but there honestly are just too many to count. So what I did is I created a map for you with even more locations. So you can go to the places I feature in this video, but you can go also to the spots I didn't and explore for yourself. All this will be in my bubble up folder, which gives you access to free itineraries, free guides to neighborhoods in the city, other maps, and much more. Oh, let's go to our first spot, which I'm pretty sure will blow your mind. Can you believe this sunflower garden is in New York? Well, believe it, we are here at Untmeyer Gardens. This is in Yonkers, New York, so it's about 40 minutes outside of Manhattan. Why, this is one of the most beautiful hidden gems I've seen around New York City area in a long time. I mean, it really feels like you're in Europe, you've been transported to another area. There's so many different photogenic locations. I mean, you could spend hours here taking epic shots. And it is an absolute must visit for a few reasons. Number one, it is completely free. It is 43 acres of beautiful gardens that make you feel like you've been transported to a different part of the world. And that's what makes this place so special. But its history is surprisingly interesting. The gardens are named after Samuel Untermine, a successful lawyer in the turn of the century. He was instrumental in the establishment of the Federal Reserve System, helped take down Hitler, and gave significant financial support to women's right to vote. His ambition for this garden was that it would be the finest garden in the world. I really do recommend that when you come here, you do their walking tour. It's actually just self-guided, it's on their website. But as you go through the different parts of the space, it gives you context to what you're looking at. And there's a lot of interesting history here. Behind me, you're gonna see the Vista. That is what this is officially called in the garden. And this was actually designed to look exactly like a view from Lake Como because the Untmeyers really loved going to Lake Como. So they wanted to recreate that a picturesque view that they saw at the lake it actually looks over the Hudson River you can see the Palisades right there I just love how they incorporated travel into a garden so that they could travel the world without leaving home if you're coming from um, Manhattan you can just hop on the train and take the train to Yonkers it'll be really quick trips you guys something terrible has happened Bella what happened Flames. it was up here mm -hmm. okay maybe she says she okay. lost her like panther toy <gasps> Bella, this time? Bella. Oh, good yay, job, yay, good job. <laughs> Crisis averted, let's get to the next spot. <laughs> I'm here at Croton Gorge Park. This is a park on the base of the Croton Dam and you can see that right behind me. This is a 97 acre park. It's really popular for hiking, biking, and picnicking and it actually directly connects to the hiking trail that is the New York State Old Croton Aqueduct. So you get some impressive views. Obviously this view is quite extraordinary. Now if you're not familiar with the aqueduct, this is actually where New York City gets all of their water from. And New York City water is some of the most delicious water in the United States. I would say the world. Water that our pizza is made from, which is what makes our pizza so good, comes right from here. Same with bagels, by the way. So if you go to places outside of New York and they claim they have New York pizza, Technically, they can't actually say that unless they are shipping water from here to use in their pizza. Fun fact, right? Definitely come here early because we did not and their parking lot fills up very quickly. So we actually had to hike down <laughs> to even get here. So right now we are doing the hike down to Croton Gorge Park. We did not expect to do this hike. Whoa, Belle, how's your hike going? Okay. Vamos? Okay, vamos. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little scary. But we be really careful. I did not bring proper footwear and either did Louie. It only takes like 10 minutes, but it's pretty steep trying to get down this way. So definitely arrive early so you don't have to deal with this. <laughs> I don't understand why they blocked off entrance to this park and said it was too packed. Just look at the park. This is like Central Park if the apocalypse happened. But it's totally worth it. It's a gorgeous view. You can actually also see it from the top if you don't want to hike down. 
or if you're lucky and you can park right at the base and you don't need to hike at all. Yeah, what do you think, Bella? Cup. Cup? Yeah, absolutely. Cup. <laughs> Do you be shocked if I told you there was a Scottish castle on a deserted island in New York? Well, believe it, because this amazing location is called Bannerman Castle, and it is about an hour and a half from New York City. I wanted to go in person to show you, but tickets sold out, so make sure to get yours in advance. This is a simulated Scottish castle located on Polapel Island in the Hudson River. It was once the home of Francis Bannerman, a successful business owner and Scotsman who came to the US to live in Brooklyn at the age of three. He made most of his fortune through arms dealing, but was a peaceful man himself. They offer various tours and theatrical events, but the standard experience starts with a 30 minute boat ride over to Bannerman Island, then a one and a half hour walking tour where you'll visit the ruins, gardens, and learn about the history. It's a super unique experience and based on their exceptional reviews, it looks like an absolute must do. While we're on our way to our next destination, I wanna share something with you that I use that may be beneficial to you too. Now as explorers, we like to learn about new places, whether they're in our own backyard or across the planet. And that is one of the reasons that I use Babbel to enhance my language learning skills. Every year, Louie and I like to live in a different country for a month. And this time we'll be exploring Indonesia. And luckily Babbel offers that language. Babbel makes it easy to learn with their app. I love how they have bite-sized 10 minute lessons that teach words that I actually need to know when I'm out exploring. It's great for on the go because I don't worry that I won't leave a lesson and unfinished. It's a short time commitment, but super effective when done daily. Plus, I also use Babbel through their Spanish lessons to connect with Louis's family in Guatemala better. Right now, I am having a little bit of trouble with conjugations, and luckily, Babbel makes it very clear when to use certain tenses, unlike when I ask Louis. La fiesta de María está en el parque. I think you say es en el parque, like it's at the park. It's but, in the park. Wait, why would you use ser in that situation instead of stop? Uh -huh. I don't know, I don't know the rules, I just know it sounds right, okay? <laughs> they are today's sponsor and a big supporter of this channel, allowing me to share more of the world with you. Check them out via the link below in my video description to save 60% off your subscription. Now, let's get to the next spot. Did you know that there's an accidental marine museum in Staten Island? The boat graveyard is the final resting place of about 100 boats and ships throughout history. Vessels of historic interest include a World War II submarine chaser, the first World War II US Navy ship to have a predominantly African-American crew. This site is not open to the public, it is hard to reach, and it is posted with no trespassing signs. So that doesn't mean you should go there just because I'm featuring it in this video. <laughs> Nevertheless, there are some visitors. Marine historians tend to explore the area via boats or kayaks, while the decaying ships are a popular subject for photographers and artists. Would you venture into the unknown and visit this eerie spot? Let me know in the comments below. I am here at the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. This spot is special because it is the only wildlife refuge in the entire United States National Park System. Can you believe that? And it's only an hour away from Manhattan. This is in Howard Beach area, so to get here you either need a car or you can take public transportation. Um, but they have some amazing hiking trails and we're gonna go check that out right now. The 120 acre East Pond and the 45 acre West Pond serve as beacons to migratory birds from rarely seen black necked stilts to the more common Canada geese style bird, you know, the ones you see flying all over the place here in New York. So when you come here, go inside the visitor's center. You can actually pick up a Birds of Jamaica Bay checklist. They have over 325 different species of birds that you can see here. By the way, it's not just birds that are here. They have over 70 different species throughout this entire wildlife refuge. Who said you can't have wildlife in New York, right? We're here. We're going to have a good time. Let's go check it out. I do recommend starting with the West Pond Trail hike. Uh, it's a 1.7 mile loop that brings you all the way around the West Pond and you'll see the Osprey platform, you'll see the Black Bank, the South Marsh. Uh, they also recommend if you like to do bird watching, bring some binoculars, okay? I forgot mine, I'm so mad. I'm so mad, don't make the same mistake as me. From one side you see the bay, and then from the other side, look, you can see the city of Manhattan. But wow, what a great spot to come. Definitely, uh, sunset is beautiful, beautiful. 
If you want to travel back in time, then you need to come here to historic Richmond town. This is an authentic 1600s, 1700s, 1800s little village where people used to live. It's also a historic landmark and it's cool. They have a lot of stuff going on here. Right now they have a candle making workshop and then we're going to do a little tour. They have a museum open. You can go inside all of these cool old authentic houses and they have reenactments. They have people dressed in costume and cool stuff like that. There are tons of different workshops. Check the website. Right now I'm doing a candle making workshop. We're doing it like they used to do back in the day until electricity became popular essentially. So all you do is you have like a little stick with a wick and then you hold the wick and just put it in this hot wax. Boom, like that. This is how we make sure that they're drying. But this is what people used to do, you know? People had so much time on their hands. They would just hand dip candles. So one of the cool things you can also do here is get a tour of the area and go inside different houses. Fun fact, or not even fun, it's like a terrifying fact. Uh, this, this whole area is known to be like haunted. It was on Travel Channel show like most terrifying locations or something. And I just look up and I see this terrifying like mannequin with no eyes. I see what they're getting at here. And as someone who's terrified of ghosts, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like so I know that I should make more videos like this. And don't forget to get my free guide to all the other incredible places in New York that I wasn't able to cover in this video. And also, if you have any other spots that I haven't featured, please comment them so I know. I wanna discover more places like this too. See you next time, bye.